What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is a Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies Mike and Jesse. How's it going? What's up? Guys, we are... We, we're at it. This is the second to last episode of Into yes, the Badlands. This yes. is episode nine, Nightingale Sings No More. And uh, we are going to just go over some of the stuff about this episode. We're going to get a little more in-depth, detailed, orientated, or, in, or whatever. Uh, Jesse, what happened in the episode? Well... Sonny gets help from an unlikely source to defeat a common enemy, but mm. he doesn't. Yeah. Well, no. kind, kind of Waldo. Okay. Oh, Understandable. Oh, no. And Baji uncovers a shocking secret from his past. No, not really. No. That's no, no not. Oh, I mean, God. not really that shocking, but a little bit of a surprise. Whatever, man. They, they write like crap. Um, well, look. A lot of things happened in this episode. A lot of things setting up what's going to end up happening yeah. uh, in, in the episode. Uh, the really One of the coolest parts was the very beginning when we get to see Flea and we find out that it was Minerva, right? Um, yes. That was really cool. I just want to right off the bat say the de-aging on, on Beji was actually really good, right? I mean, you guys agree there was a de-aging on him, right? Yeah, yeah. Got rid of the pockmarks and all that. But, His uh, skin looked smoother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Child Minerva had kind of a big head. <laughs> bad wig it was a bad wig yeah it was probably the a kid, bad wig the yeah. kid the kid herself looked you know pretty good convincing yes yeah and i'm not really one to talk about a big head <laughs> <laughs> how about right? baji was always just a fat bastard he's just always a fat bastard <laughs> <laughs> they could have fucking slimmed him right yeah they even yeah they even um they even made they even uh kind of made fun of that too when he went yeah. to go see minerva uh you don't you don't look like a cog you look like you're pretty well fed. You know? Oh, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, yeah. I guess people were, were right with their fan theories about that. You know what I mean? Because we heard, uh, we, you know, from the upcoming, the last probably the last couple of weeks that um, it's possible. Once we heard, once we found out. Who yeah. Flea was, yeah, when we heard uh, Baji telling the story, you know, to MK. So that was cool. I mean, it was yeah, a bunch I, of reunions. You know, it. I always fucking love the reunions. You guys know that. Yeah. Um, and we had a few of them, you know, especially with Waldo too, and and Sonny getting getting back together, and um, you know the big flea uh, flea and and Baji was 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 really cool. You that know was a, I mean? yeah, that was really cool. And like you said, like Sonny, so, yeah, there were a bunch of meeting uh, meetups or whatever. Like so, yeah. Sonny and Waldo after a while, and um, I don't know that <laughs> it was so funny because he's like. The, Waldo, it didn't seem like Waldo for some reason. Like he wasn't like his cocky self. I don't know if you guys like picked up on that, but he didn't really seem too cocky. And he was like, I mean, I don't know. Did, did that what, seem to Sonny? I mean, yeah, yeah. When when him and Sonny met, you know, what you guys think? I mean, like, I guess it was. I guess he was. You know, in the end, it was really. Uh, you know, I think Waldo's main concern is number one that Sonny's okay, yeah. and that it was just more of, you know, a little playful back and forth like I it's good guess. to see a sunshine i think he called him sunshine or something yeah, at the end yeah. yeah you know so i think it was just basic basically that that you know he he saw you know sunny for the first time in a long time and he's glad that um that he's he's back and he's alive but i think he's he's just concerned on um how he's gonna defeat quinn or it know it was almost like um waldo was kind of baiting him not to go um after his family that he he may not come back but like you what's know, the he, point like he knows sonny he knows he knows what he's not he, he knows what he wants he's like why but why like again that's why it wasn't like i think he feels like it's like a, it's going to be like a suicide mission waldo assumes well, i mean that. obviously yeah, yeah obviously. and then that's why and sonny's you know, like that's i don't why. care it's my family dude you know like, he and we, we mentioned this a couple of times on the previous videos for this episode, but like Sonny, man, these last bunch of episodes, like the last five episodes, they just, they've given him shit dialogue. And, and I don't think it has to do, you know, with, um, uh, what's his name? Is it Danny? Is that his name? The guy that plays him? Daniel Wu. Danny, Daniel, I'll call no. him Danny. I'm on first My name basis Wu. with Danny. Yeah, you um, know you know, they don't, it's it had nothing to do with him. Like he's just, you know, those are the things he's given. Like, and I just don't think he has the strongest dialogue on this show. No, they haven't. I mean, I think Baji got a lot of it. But why can't why can't they all? Like, why does it have to be more than they don't, one? They don't Do fucking you... they don't slow it down. They don't sugarcoat shit with this. It's kind of I, I think you had said, Chris, that 
they speed it along. It, there's there's no... Yeah, we cut... Yeah, like Jesse said you during know, the live you... react, it was like, okay, I guess we're here now doing this. Like, yeah. you know, we're just we're just supposed to just... And it's fine because, you know what? That, dude, what do you remember when you think of these shows? You just remember the plot points. Like, you just remember the major plot points. You remember the major happenings. The minutia is like, with, with the exception of a cool line here or there, it's like, that's all we really need, you know? Just yeah. get us from point A to point, you know, L... In, in this one episode, and we'll worry about the rest later, mm. you know? But, I mean, yeah, yeah so Sunny. Yeah, you know. I, I don't remember much of the first season. Like, I remember the <clears throat> I remember the plot points, but uh, I, I just, I can't remember an exact episode. That a lot well, it's, of, also, it's also been a long, it was a long time. Don't forget, we, yeah. we missed, we haven't had Into the Badlands for, you know, we missed a whole year. We, so it was, yeah. what, 2015 was the last time? Well, yeah. I can remember, like, Game of Thrones. I can remember quite yeah. a bit of their, like, episodes. Game of Thrones well, is Also, is Game of Thrones is, you, and you're also, oh, yeah. it's yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, you've you watched you more than really plenty. You've read the books. Show. Like, yeah. you know, you're more yeah. entwined. This was a brand new world that they were building for us and, and setting the rules and setting the boundaries, you know, and, 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 then, and then obviously take us out. But, um, but, I mean, I love, you know, I've mentioned it before. I love, I love where the story is going where they've taken this story. I think they haven't... I don't think we've had a slow episode. I don't remember saying once in any of our reviews or discussions being like, wow, this episode really dragged. You know what I mean? Unlike The Dead, Walking Dead, or or um, yeah. you know anything I think, else. I mean, I think I mentioned this in a prior video about Badlands was, is it... What kind of show is it? Is it more the martial arts and the action takes, takes precedence over really uh, in-depth... Uh, story even though they're giving us like you said from a to b and they're they're stringing us along we know exactly where everybody's going now it's still an action-packed show so it's it goes hand in hand the, the dialogue and 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 these scenes with a lot of the fights fighting and the and the martial arts of it yeah but i think i think th i think this season and you guys can disagree but i think this season they're trying to focus more on story like we're getting a butt yeah. ton of backstory now you know, Azra bit, yeah. is like is the is the main is the centerpiece of what like half the characters are trying to, to do. Yeah, you know? And Azra was that one word that little flea said her dad was the yeah. only uh the only word that his her, her father told her. Uh translated. That's what I'm saying, man. Like it's they're they're definitely giving us a lot more and I hope in season three you yeah. know, I'm pretty sure well, we'll get picked up with season three. But let, I mean, let me let me pose you a question with, with the book. Mm -hmm. Now, during the live reaction, I had said, um, "Now, what is what is Baji? Because you like the Baji sneaky kind of." So yeah, I mean, obviously, thing, yeah, but... he's very what? he's he's got a lot of subterfuge, but but not but I like it because it's not he's not doing it with any malice. He's got his own agenda. He does look out for people. He's a good guy, but he's also got his he, own. He's looking you know... out for number one first. But my question is, what does he want with the book? Because obviously he tells MK, Sonny told us to get the book when that's when that's false. So is it for, because I had mentioned, do, do you feel that he wants the book to translate it to possibly get his powers back? Or is it just because he knows what kind of person Minerva is and if she does translate this book and get her ability back or get her gift back she just you know she can just be all powerful and maybe I, I think it's because he knows who Minerva is yeah so you don't think it has anything to do with his ability and possibly getting his ability back could be just to destroy the master okay I don't I mean he I, yeah, I, mean... I think I think it's more after watching this I think it's more the Minerva thing. He he thinks it's in it would be in bad hands if she kept it. That's why he. I think he wants. I think he wants that. I think he wants to get. He wants it out of her hands. Yeah. I think he possibly may want his power back to overthrow the master. But I also think he wants to know about Azra. I think he knows more than all of them about Azra, being that he was an abbot and that he you know learned under the master or whatever. He knows. He knows something. That's why he took the compass. He didn't just take the. They're gonna. They're gonna get the book. They wanted to get the book away from her and go there or figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So, it's. I think I feel that's more of a motivation. He's uh, got. Why did he take the compass then? If he just doesn't well, want like, her to have like the a book. Key. It's like a key to but, that. But, but that's my point. Though. So so there's. Oh, it's important. 
Right, so he wants it translated. He wants to get to Azure. That's what I think. I think he's using it, yes, to stop her, maybe to get his power back, maybe just basically to stop her, but he wants Azure. He wants to get there. He wants to get out of that. I think that's what Who knows what, what kind of secrets will be unveiled in the book. You know what I mean? Right. It could be. It's going to be multiple things, Yeah. You know, which, you, is, which is cool. You know, you said Vale, so, and it reminds me of the, of the, the little the little tit, tiff that they, uh, the Quinn tit. and Vale had. And it's funny, because the little tit... Um, but I, I started calling them, uh, I, I call those characters Quail now. <laughs> Quail, okay. okay. Right. Quinn and Vale, can we just call them Quail because they're the, they're the cool. season's hottest new couple? You yeah. know, being that they're married. But no, she slaps him and he slaps her right back. And the baby's like, oh, damn, you just slapped my mama. <laughs> and he starts crying and stuff. Like, I just thought that was pretty cool. Like, I mean, I, I'm not condoning him, you know, beating on his wife, but... He's just like he's not taking any crap from her, but at the same time, I'm like I I mean I'm on Team Vale, like I'm Team Vale and Henry, of like course. I want like Quinn Quinn's a maniac, and I'm like I don't like him, and yeah. I want him to leave them alone, you know. But well, he obviously hold, no, hold he, on. He, he's warped. He's yeah. warped. If you're wanting to call Vale and Quinn Quail, would that make her and Sunny sail? Yeah. But they're not sale right now, though. They're not until they get back together. When they get together, if they get together this season, they'll be sale. They'll be sale. Yeah. yeah. Well, I let, let let's put it put it to the uh, put it to the point where, um, with the whole Quinn, um, with the, with these Quinn scenes that we saw uh, this episode, what is what is his agenda? Number one, putting the kid Gabriel and and putting him on this kamikaze mission and saying. Um, Making up these these stories to try to manipulate Sonny and and Minerva's like little pact for the moment. I think that's by, what that was, man. Right by saying, um, you know, Vale is, is kind of like happy in a way, in not so many words, with with Quinn, and it's really it's getting mind up. games, man. It's Quinn. Yeah, Quinn all uh, Quinn is. does is play mind games. You know, and and I realized he didn't. That bomb wasn't really meant to do any damage. That was just. To show them that one, he could get close to them. If they happen to die, great, then his job's done. But he knows that they weren't going to die. He knows that they're 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 stronger and better than that. But he was trying to send them a message. Hey, look, I can get to you anytime I want. You know, well, the message. Uh, is I don't clear. think strength has anything to do with surviving an explosion. No, I just meant that they're they're <laughs> strong characters, they're strong people. Meaning, like that wouldn't they would know, they would see it, they would stop it, they would learn. To get away, like you know what I'm and, saying. Like, I mean, I, how about how about the simple fact that it shows that this kid is willing to die? It just shows it shows him. it shows Quinn's you know I mean? power of manipulation. Yeah, That's what exactly. it shows. Exactly, um, and we know that the whole fucking place is wired below, and it's on lockdown. You know, he tells Lydia. Listen, he tells Lydia, I know your conniving schemes. I know mm -hmm. the first thing you and Vale want to do is slit my throat. He knows this whole... Of course he does. He's not stupid, of course, right? Of course. So he has the whole place on lockdown. It's all... Um, there's mo these bombs planted all over this place. So he's willing to go down with his ship. And, of course, he's taking everybody with him. No, he's... No, no. Come on, man. He ain't going down. He's going to slip no, well, out a little it, wormhole. He's not... If he if will take fact, Henry, and it'll be him and Henry in the woods. Yeah, he's not. No, he'll I kill everyone else. Him. He'll kill everybody but him and Henry. I don't. I don't know. I'm saying in the in the in the fact that Sonny comes in. Say say for for some reason Quinn is about to get killed, or however okay. Sonny does it, or whoever it happens. He has that that just like that kid Gabriel activated this detonated this uh, these bombs. He's gonna take Sonny with him. If you're there, if Sonny's well, yeah, there, I guess yeah, he's yeah, blowing yeah, yeah. everybody the fuck up. I yeah, mean, if there is the potential um, uh, escape route, then of course, mm -hmm. um, and I can see that happening. I don't think that we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna uh, see the last of Quinn. I can see in this finale that maybe Sonny gets the best of him, and it's more one of those "I'll get you next time, Sonny, you motherfucker" kind of, just almost like a. I'm gonna get you, sucker. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's gonna be like an all-out war part two, Badland style. You yeah, know? they got some. They definitely got some 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 beef. What yeah. about um? Oh man, I was gonna ask you guys a question. Uh, how about um? So Beji beats himself up to get himself into the widow. And we don't see that culminate until after. Like, we all, I, I mean, I don't know about you, but I kind of forgot about Beiji for a second. And yeah. then he just happens to show up after. Uh, Saving Sonny's ass again. So, so uh, before we leave, all right, so 
with the explosion, this is something that kind of bothered me, was Sonny, it's, it's like dumb motivation. No, I mean, all right, hold on. He finds out right before the explosion that Vale, that, that Widow sent, you know, gave Vale up to Quinn. Yeah. And all of a sudden that just like nullified everything he was going to do with her. Now, I get that. I get that. But at the same time, it's like... <laughs> they could have discussed it. I said that too. Yeah, yeah. like... They could have discussed. It was. It was. It was automatically Sunny saying, "Oh, he was you just like, bitch, you forget man. everything." He's like, "Screw you, and bitch." And she saw it. Yeah, she saw it. Obviously, that's why she threw the butterfly uh, star at him. You know what I mean? God, but the man. funny. How about how about the fact that there was like five, ten guys going after Sunny? They went like maybe what twenty feet. He bounced around a couple, jumped over a and, wall, and then, and then the, there was no all more. right. And, and then, then Beijing shows, <laughs> shows up. And Beijing shows up. Hey, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like that's what Jesse was saying too. Like it's like, yeah. all right, whatever, man. You know what? For convenience sake. Yeah. Exactly. Got to get it. Got to get him. Got to get these two characters over here. Boom. And you know what? I forgive this show. Who? It's a comic book, man. This is like it, a live it action. It works comic really book. well. Yeah. yeah. Who cares? It's like you're not. Listen, there's a lot of plot holes and a lot of holes like that. But you know what? That's in everything all the time. So yeah. let's like let's just move on with those things. So. Uh, again, we got another bro team, uh, a little bro hug, a lot of bro hugging in this one. I mentioned it earlier in the other videos. Um, and I also mentioned that, you know, Nick Frost, you know, we, we kind of touched on it early, but I feel like, I feel like he agreed to do the show and they're like, we'll put you in as much as we can. And I'm sure he knows his character arc and, and, and yeah. death if that. I I'm hope sure he's in he season knows. three. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't think he's gonna die. I hope he doesn't die. I mean, I like him. I'm I just really saying they're doesn't. they're definitely utilizing him, and they and 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 rightly so. They should, they should. I don't think there's enough Beiji. Although it is, it, I don't know why it's kind of getting to me the whole bro thing. Whenever it's a scene with him, he's slapping hands. They're they're pounding. They're you know what I'm. And I'm like, but you, that's a little too modern for me yeah like, like I, that's I, what i even said with the bullshit then I again he could them. be a survivor of azra okay yeah, okay we're okay talking, like, if you're gonna say right if, but if you're gonna say that he's got that he's got those sensibilities to him okay but i'm looking for that more medieval the two hands on the shoulder it's good to see you man you know or you know like they use like there's just some elements that just don't fit in and i think it's i think it's I don't know why, I, and, I, and I don't have anything to back this up, but yeah. I feel like he's bringing that to the table, meaning the director's like, okay, Nick, so we're going to do it this way, and he's kind of like, oh, yeah, and I could just give him a, let me that. give him a hug this way, and I feel like I, sh I want to do it this way. You know what I mean? Not so much yeah. a prima donna, but I feel like a lot of it is coming from him. Fine, whatever. Point is, Sonny walks off, literally walks away from the, the place where there was just an explosion and people chasing him. Yeah. yeah. Really? You're not gonna just run? He didn't run. Like why? You? It could be right around the corner. Like they couldn't figure out you went outside that gate. I know. That's. Come on, I mean, man. he really doesn't have to worry though, because he is Sunny, and they are just like unnamed Clippers. Yeah, that's true. I know they're red shirts or blue shirts, as it were. Yeah. yeah. Um. So at the end, we get. Uh, so then Beiji ends up. You know, they, they they like we mentioned earlier. They get the um. He shows. He has a bro moment with, with uh, MK. MK. They said, we have to get the book. He's like, well, guess what? Oh, that was a shit line, too, though. He's like, well, I got to find the compass. He's like, what if I said the compass was closer than you think? Yeah, in he my was... hand. No, he didn't even say that, but that's what I no, said. No, he did. He did. He said. He said my... in my hand? Or did no, I? I think one of us. That. I think one of us said that, yeah. <laughs> I said there was something in my pocket. Yeah, I and I was like, it's in my hand. Yeah. Anyway, I yeah. thought that was a shit line. But, um. But yeah, they're like, we gotta read the book. So, so they go in, and obviously, you know, Minerva, 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 <laughs> the widow. Out. You know, what'd you guys think? What did you guys think about that meeting up? Was it was it everything you hoped it'd be, or did you was no. it a little lackluster? Hey, well, if that kind sneaky little bitch didn't uh, overhear them, and oh my god, and, uh, she's so they annoying. They would have never found man. out. You know what I mean? They but what did you think though? Found out that they were looking for the book. Yeah, but what did you think? Was it was it was it a little? underwhelming for you guys a little bit i, I kind of yeah. wanted to see you know what happened where they went all that stuff but they rushed it to get to the next part so i know i wanted to see like i wanted to see some like i wanted to see more of a reaction out of both of them like i wanted him to be like 
oh damn i mean he was like oh you filled out nicely or whatever he said yeah and she's like yeah. just like oh yeah well you're a dick you're gonna run away what are you gonna you're gonna leave mk like you left me like i was well, like maybe, I, you know i wish there was more, more though that. like that, look the yeah. dialogue the length fine that's fine but I just, I just wish there was more to it like she was like like mm. i can't believe that you did that to me or or and he and he could have been like look look i didn't I didn't have to, you know, I mean, obviously, maybe that's giving away too much of the story, but whatever. I, I was a little underwhelming for me. But then... Um, maybe we'll get a dungeon scene next episode. Yeah, maybe. because we obviously don't know where she, she trapped, you know, she put MK <laughs> so, so, in. So now, so now they are, so what, they're trapped, and okay, so... Um, but then Tilda, damn, Tilda, you got Grow some balls. Some balls. On, you got some balls underneath that, those bangs, don't you? You got some, some bang balls, don't you? Well, balls. as you guys say, she is Jared Leto, so there you go. Yeah. Right, hey. I was in the Suicide Squad film for ten minutes. Yeah, but more like I, nine. Yeah, I mean, all right. So, I mean, I mentioned it in the in the review. Very flashy. The fight scene to me had some had some good points. It had some low points. Like some of the flashy stuff was kind of like, just a, it being flashy just for flashy I sake. It. I didn't, I enjoyed it. I didn't really think it was too flashy myself. I mean. I thought it was cool how the widow jumped over her, climbed on the staircase posts and everything like yeah. that. But there was one cool, there was one scene after um, uh, the widow kicked her down the stairs and and um, uh, Tilda got up and her. It was cool because she her had a bloody sticks. mouth. You know the so stopping they points. They had to yeah. connect. That's so what I'm the saying. Blood that was seeping from her mouth was touching, was still connected to the ground for a second, so it kind of looked pretty cool. Yeah. I like the you know? stopping points. Like the the best parts of the fight for me were the, were those stopping points where they broke to say some dialogue. Like when she kicks, she kicks Minerva and Tilda kicks Minerva in the face, and she's like, Bleh! and she can't believe it happened. You know, like the the, the that, that the scene when when started. she's laying there. I also like, and I mentioned it too in the live react when somebody gets turned around and twisted up for a second, they look past the camera and they're like, they're so stunned that it's happening to them. It's just that split second of freeze. And then they go back into counter. It's just, I love when they do that in movies. I don't know why. I just love that. Or, you know, any fight yeah. fight kind of doesn't make sense, but it is pretty fun. I mean, it's like, Oh, Hey, he did that to me last episode. Yeah. Hmm. It's a little, little pondering situation, but I mean, yeah, like I said, I like most of the beat, the, the stopping points, those beats in the fight. Um, obviously a lot of the, all the fights have really good beats. There's nothing too awkward about them. Some of the wire work is a little wonky. Um, a lot, again, a lot of, just a lot of spinning for me on this one, but I mean, it was still like, I mean, I mean Hey, it, it was, was action packed crazy shit me. though. Like, yeah, Tilda, Tilda, you know, Tilda had that, that second wind and she, she started beating her ass and then she ended up, I don't know, man, she dropped the fucking chandelier on her. I was fucking don't crazy. I didn't break her spine, but yeah. I know, I know, but at I first, mean, at first I thought she was gonna like roll the, you know, the of course the movie. Yeah, get out of the way. Oh, the yeah, way exactly. Thing. I was waiting for it. So that when it happened, I was like, yeah, uh, you know. Uh, what I mean, hey, I still I mean, think she's alive. I, I think that, uh, yeah. you know, obviously the widow had pity for her. She wasn't gonna put her out of her misery, even though Tilda was like, "Kill me," you know. Don't don't forget what you always say. You know, uh, finish what you started. That was so, great. Though. Uh, she threw that line back at her. But you, so so you think she's not dead? No, I don't think she's dead at all. I think that she's she's obviously injured quite a bit, um, but yeah, by no means I feel that uh, she would. Now, she, I, I'm always was a little bit confused about this. Is she her real mother? No, I don't think so. So we, so that's what I'm no, saying. No, remember she was. This, remember, well, remember she, she said was... about the man, and she said the, the the her husband. She said the widow's husband would. Like yeah, she was just she was just a slave. She was a cog. She was a house cog. Yeah, and she was being you know abused and and raped or whatever, and you know the 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 man's wife stopped it and they you know she killed him. That's how she became the widow and you know whatever the case. But I mean, so I yeah, guess so. it's yeah. So regardless, I was always kind of confused. Um, I mean, obviously they look very much. They don't look much alike at all, but yeah. they could always. You know, throw it's a TV. It don't matter. And... TV yeah. and movies. It doesn't. None of that shit matters. No. Um, but yeah. So I mean, I mean, what do you think about that though, Jess? Like, do you think she's dead? I, or... I don't think so. I don't think the widow, like, would kill even if she's not her biological daughter. She's still her daughter. 
Well, you know what? So. She cares about her. She does care about her. She does. She doesn't. She didn't want to hurt her. That look of of pained remorse at the end mm-hmm. when she did do that crazy kick. But that kick's not breaking a neck. Oh, well, maybe in this hey, show it would. Hey, might again. have. Shit. But we didn't hear a little crack or anything. So. Oh yeah, true. Hey, I can see somehow Tilda and MK and Baji hooking up. Maybe she throws them in the same cell or something. Or she's probably they gonna. Are yeah, I think place. they're gonna. That escape. would be a dumb mistake on her part. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do, yeah, but yeah. you know, and then it's all, or they're trapped in different places, and one saves the other. However, it works, and like fuck you, mom, I'm out of here. Yeah. You know, and and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Guys, um, to kind of close this out here, do you guys have any predictions for what's going to come in the season finale? What do you, what do you guys, you guys kind of I mentioned something know. like Mikey, you were saying about, you know, it's going to be the showdown. Oh. Uh, you know, we don't yeah. got to touch too much more on that because you already said it. Like, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have this. You know, I mean, they're probably gonna have this showdown. Um, yes, you got anything on top of the off the top of your head? Off the top of my head, no. I what mean, do you want yeah. to happen? How about that? Oh God. Uh kind of want like bashi to meet Vale. <laughs> you're like oh so you're the Vale that sunny has been talking mm-hmm. about <laughs> I, I don't know why but that's something i want to happen my biggest thing is what what's gonna ha- what's gonna happen now with with um the widow after all this and especially with her regent you know what i mean uh double crossing her and now now potentially killing her killing tilda i wonder what's next for the widow you know. you know what? Um, you just you made me, you just made me Main think of something. Season three. Yeah, you guys just made me think of something though that I that I don't think I've, I've mentioned previously, and, I, and I'd like to get it out real quick. What I liked about this story, not only do they move it forward, and sometimes leap very big leaps, right? That we're just yeah. supposed to accept, which is fine, dude. Yeah. Every time someone's made an alliance in this season, it's lasted maybe like a minute. Dude, every yeah. time, and 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 you know what? Think about it. That's really cool. Like they didn't—they're not following. They start out with this, with this, with this, with the regular trope that's always in these shows. It's it's mm-hmm. a, a really good example or metaphor of that is we thought she was gonna roll out the way, right? And she didn't. Yeah. And that's what they do. The writers they they start down the path as the 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 you know the old the regular path that someone would take writing this stuff but then they always veer left or right and i like that they zag and it's awesome man because every alliance that they've had has fallen apart in this in this uh season and that's fucking awesome you know and it, it makes it interesting each other. it makes yeah. yeah but that's the best part it's like all that stuff but it's yeah. done really well it's it's really like they really make the characters like they really get to bring these characters to life because it's like yes Minerva would do that yes Quinn would do that of course mm. you know yeah. and like Sunny Sunny's just like obviously like the purest out of all of them you know what I mean I that's how I see it and and obviously this this season wasn't this season wasn't about Sunny but I feel like Sunny was the one thread connecting them all because now at this point Sunny's basically gone through gone and been through been where everyone has been. He's yeah. seen all of them. He's been with all the groups. He's been with all the barons. He's seen all the barons, essentially. Yep. So he's been that one through thread, which is fine, which is awesome. And I hope we get more of him later. We had that one episode where he was in the, the fever state, and that was cool, you yeah. know? I think this next episode, this the finale is going to be all about him and, and Quinn. You know what? I'd like it to you be. Know? I'm going to be honest with you. I'd like it to be because I kind of don't give a shit about MK. Um, you know, Beji, not really much going on there. We need to figure out yeah. what his real motivations are. That's but. after the Quinn stuff, I think. You know, what is Azra? What is the book? What is the compass? That's when they have some downtime where they can try to uh, translate this book and 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 get their next step. You know what I mean? Yeah. This season is about uh, the season's about the the reunions, getting a backstory of Baji of these couple new characters, right? Um, and Sonny getting his family back, right. and all that other stuff, that MK stuff. Um, his his we got a little bit of it, obviously, with his mother. Mm-hmm. Um, if that's at all true, because Baji did say some of the things that we see in the mirror room aren't true. Aren't true. Um, but we got a little bit of glimpses, but you know, obviously this was about Henry and, and, and Quinn being alive this season. You know what I mean? And Sonny, so, and Sonny conversely, because they didn't know Sonny was yeah. alive. I think, well, um, too. yeah. And getting back into the Badlands. What about, yeah. um, I honestly, for me, I think I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it end. Not great. I want to see, I don't think Sonny should get Val and his kid back. 
I think there should be some some dire situation. Maybe Veil vale dies. You know, like I just oh, that would I, suck. Yeah, I just I think there's I think you know I, I don't know I think it'd be some good motivation be. for Sonny because when it'd if be. Sonny doesn't have one thing then he just has his kid to fight for and now yeah. he's got to get there. so I'd like to see that I mean not that I want to see her die I like her character but these, mm-hmm. let's be honest those are the characters that they're they're used to to push another yeah. character you know it's I true. mean we haven't had an emotional death so we could really use one yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. Um, all right. Anything else? Is there anything else you guys want to see? Anything? Are we are we good with that? <clears throat> is that is that I'm an good. episode? Is that a show? Yep. I think all yes, all, it is. My my voice is dying. I don't know why. Um, Say me. Yeah. You know what well, you need, Chris? Oh no! Tell me. You need some Vale's breast milk, vanilla ice cream. Oh my God! Is that where they got the ice cream from? Yes, from Vale's. Oh man. Very own. Very own breasts. I hadn't even thought about that. He ice cream. Do you see any cows on the ground, Christopher? Oh, that's true. That's true. I don't see any cows, Chris. Dang, son. And for anyway. those of you listening at home, <laughs> this happens a lot off camera. Mike, Mike, you don't understand. Since about episode five, Mike's inhabited. Um, Quinn has inhabited Mike's body. And, it is. Uh, we got a lot of bloopers of that. It should be funny when we do the blooper reel. Um, all right, so guys, 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 guys. That's going to do it yes. for this episode of Into the Badlands, episode nine, Nightingale Sings No More, uh, which I think is probably Tilda. Yeah, yeah, that, that's obviously kind of yeah. Tilda there. Bitch got a chandelier dropped on her skull. Bitch got a chandelier, that's uh, right. On her all... spine. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, like I said, it's going to do it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Mikey, where can they reach yes. us if they so choose? Of course, you can reach us at Third Person Pod on YouTube, on Facebook, of mm-hmm. course, on Instagram. The Gram. Write us the Gram, yes, and um, on iTunes as well. Don't forget to leave some comments um, on mm-hmm. any of those sites, especially on YouTube, because we try to get to those please, please. Uh, first uh, firsthand. We love to answer any of your, your your fan questions, your theories, all that kind of stuff. So it's really cool. Do that. Do it, please. And if you haven't gone and checked out the live reaction and the review for this episode, you yes. might as well just go and do that. Or you can wait to the very end because they'll be linked at the very end of this episode. Um, and also, I'm sure you guys have noticed, I've put this thing up there called Retro Squat. RetroSquat.com. It's another podcast that I do with another friend of mine. Uh, we... We mash up 80s properties like movies and TVs and video games, and we we combine, we randomly choose two, and we combine them together, and uh, we see if we can come up with something interesting and funny. So why don't you go check that out, if you wouldn't wouldn't mind. And, as usual, comicblitz.com. Code thirdpersonpod gets you three months of comics for three bucks, which is a buck a month. It's unlimited. Why not? Why not go and... Start reading Crazy. some some Scooby Doo comics. In your run, they do have Scooby Doo. I'm not on there yet, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you so much. Next week is the season finale for Into the Badlands season two. Uh, can't we're wait. psyched. We can't wait. I know you guys can't wait. Thank you again for all the comments, the questions, the support, the follows. That's great. Share it with everyone you can that loves this stuff. Share it with everybody. Uh, like, review, and all that stuff. Yep. Guys, thank you so much. We're going to see you uh, next week on the finale for Into the Badlands. So we'll see you then. Peace out. Peace.